Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people do read the comments, so anytime you can leave a constructive comment, it does help other people. Okay, I'm gonna open up the email here. The person's name is Nick, and the subject is computational math software. Hi, math sorcerer. In your opinion, what is the role of computational math software in learning math? I have recently come across Sage Math and want to use it, but in a way that complements my math studies. Regards, Nick Jensen. Really interesting. So Sage Math has been around for a very long time. I believe it's uh, GPL. Great, great software. Um, worth using, worth checking out. So my opinion on computational math software in general is that for students, right? If you're taking if you're taking a class, let's just say a basic calculus class, computational math software allows you to check your answers, and that's pretty powerful. I mean, it's something simple, but it's powerful. As an example, you can just go on the internet and go to you know Wolfram Alpha, go to the website, and type in integrate, and it'll just give you the answer, and that's very powerful because it saves you time. Like if you're studying calculus two and you're doing like the disk and shell problems. A lot of times it's the setup that matters. So you set it up, but the homework wants the answers. So you type it into Wolfram, get the answer, type it in. If it's wrong, you know your setup is wrong and then you try something else. It just saves you a lot of time because you can check your answers. And that's a very specific example of how you can do that. Also, if you're doing any type of multivariable calculus and you're wondering you know, what these graphs look like in three dimensions, you can type them into some software and you can get a 3D graph. So those are two examples that I think are very beneficial for the majority of students. Uh, checking your answers and looking at the graph of functions, especially multivariable functions. So that's a really basic answer, but I think it's also a very common answer. This is something that most people can use computational software for. Obviously, there's many, many more uses for computational math software beyond what I've discussed, but I think those are two that apply to most students out there in college or in high school. If anyone else has advice, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.